Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, or whenever you're watching another Patriot Plumber Report. Well, I have got some exciting news to let everybody know. I have the opportunity to test out a new product by Blue Eddy. They sent me in the mail uh, a new generator, and I'm excited to kind of go over everything uh, about the the unit itself, tell you all the cool features, and just show you some uh, real life uh, videos of what I used it for and what you can use it for. But I would like to to introduce the new AC60. Now you're probably wondering, okay, AC60, is it going to be like the AC50? No. It's a lot better. I guarantee you. Once I start telling you all the specs and everything, I think you're going to fall in love with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan over to the new unit and I'm just going to kind of go over all of the functions and all of the ports and all of the good jazz. All right. So hold on real quick. I'm going to slide it over. All right. So this is the new ac60 the cool thing about it is you're going to have two ports that are 120 120 right there boom right okay then you're going to have the the usb c port that's going to be 100 watts and then once again you're going to have a couple of the dinosaurs now these are the five volt three amp you know just the slow dragon old school plugins but we still have things that we're going to need to use to to charge up and these are this the the old school so good to there uh right here we've got a 12 volt cigarette lighter now you can plug in all kinds of cool jazz and cool things uh with that and i'll show you uh later on so Stay tuned uh, for after um, this little clip because there is a lot more that are going to be showing up after this. So stay tuned. Okay, so then uh, we've just got three regular buttons. We've got an on, we've got a DC, and an AC. Just hit it like that. It kicks on just like that. Turn on your DC, you've got DC. Turn on your AC, you've got AC. Easy, quick, and simple. Now, with this AC60, we've got a 600 watt pure sine wave inverter. Now you're probably thinking, wait a minute, I, I recognize that 600 watt pure sine wave inverter. Where else was that? If you remember correctly, the EB3A has the 600 watt inverter. Now, the EB3A only has 268 watt hours this right here has a whopping 403.2 watt hours. So amazing. It also has a 1200 watt surge. So if you have any kind of appliance that's gonna surge up to 1200 watts, you're protected. It's not gonna fry out your system, but I highly recommend not having anything that's gonna draw that much. Uh, you wanna protect your unit, especially with this new one and all that. Okay. So the height, very, very cool, is nine and a quarter inches. Nine and a quarter inches. Um, I don't want, I don't know what it is in centimeters, but um, it's nine and a quarter inches of the height. That's not including this handle. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be a lot more, but if you're gonna store it, you're not gonna keep the handle up. Um, so from, from the bottom to the top is nine and a quarter. Your over, uh, overall length um, is going to be, uh, what, is, what did I measure it out to? It's 11 and a half inches, 11 and a half inches. Now, um, and then also the width. Now, what I did is I measured from the back all the way to right here, to this port. Now, you can see when I turn it sideways, boom it comes off of it believe it or not this right here is a quarter inch so if you're trying to make something to put this in your van 
or put it on something, that quarter inch will come in effect. Trust me, it always does. So on the overlong, the, the width, I did eight inches. So I took in consideration because these come off, comes off, they're not uh, like flush like the other ones. Got nice heavy duty covers that go on the top right there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around, get it up a little closer, and I'm turning it sideways for you. Okay, so right here, this is your charging for solar. You can also use the the little T200 uh, little brick charger, uh, that one that came with the EB70S. It does, you know, I think 195 watts. Um, so you can use that. You can also use uh, a cigarette lighter. I mean, there's, there's so many different ways. And then also right here, this is for your grid. Now the cool thing about it is the power is now on the side. It's not on the front, so you don't have to worry about, you know, bringing the cable around and it just all of it being all tangled up with all the other cords that are plugged in. It's on the side. Now it also does have its little um, fuse on the side if you have need to use the fuse. And here's another cool function. Um, this is the grounding rod. So you, ha you get the little pin that goes in there. And this is going to come in handy like if you're going to use this unit like uh, if you uh, have any kind of um, uh, like um, boots where you know if you bring in a generator they always say you have to ground it well now you can ground the AC60 uh, wherever you go even if you wanted to do it you know when you're camping if you've got that rod and some kind of a means to just get that right deep into the soil, just go right for it. Protect your unit. It's a must. Okay. Now, there is a lot of functions on here. Uh, this is not touch screen. Um, it's just regular. Uh, it does show you um, how many hours it has left. It has all of that good jazz. It shows the AC, DC. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the app, the Blue Eddy app, and then download that, and then you can uh, then pair it up, and then run it off of uh, off of uh, uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi, and then you'll be able to get into all of the other cool things, uh, fixtures like your turbo mode, standard mode you know, power lifting mode, that's all through the app, so you gotta make sure you get the app. Um, now, you're probably wondering, okay, hey Chris, you know, uh, it, it's a little bit bigger than the EB3A, uh, what makes this so important, what makes this so, you know, better than the others, like the, um, the EB70S, you know, now the EB70S, that has the 800 watt, uh, and uh, inverter and it also has 716 watt hours so you're probably thinking you know what's the big deal what's the big big deal besides it being you know a little bit bigger more wattage and all that stuff well let me show you now this this is cool and I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my camera and I'm gonna zoom up on it so that I can show you uh, in depth so give me one second All right, now we're on the side. Look at these two little ports. These two little ports are for your ex expandable batteries. You heard it, expandable batteries. Each expandable batteries will be the B80, and each battery will have 806 watt hours. Oh, it's, correction, 806 watt hours. Um, and it'll be each battery is around 21 pounds uh, it has an output of 120 watts three DC ports so each battery 806 watts so a combined with the AC 60 and the two batteries 
That is 2,015 watts. You heard it. Expandable batteries up to 2,000 watts. That's two kilowatts of, of power that you can use to do all kinds of cool things. Did that get you all excited? An extra two batteries you can get with the AC200. So you heard it. Blue Eddie's been listening to us. You know, people are like, hey, can you know we get an expanded battery for the EB3A or the you know the EB70S or the EB55? Well, now you can. You can get two expandable batteries. Each battery, like I said, 806 watt hours. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Now, you're probably saying, okay. How can Blue Eddie top that? Two expandable batteries. Well, I'm gonna top that, you guys. So hold on real quick. Now, I want you to stay to the very end of the video because I will show you the, the test that I did for what I'm about to tell you that they did with the AC60. And I'm going to tell you what, you guys and gals are going to be excited, just like me. Because, <laughs> I mean, this is cool. And wait until you see my test. Now, I'm going to pan it back to the AC60, and I'll let you know what the next cool feature is that they did for this. Okay. The next cool feature that the AC60 does, it is waterproof. You heard me correctly. Waterproof. Yes, waterproof. The housing on the AC60 is waterproof. So, these nice, sturdy, heavy-duty, thick rubber, it's to protect. Now, you can't have grid power hooked up to it because the cord, the power cord, isn't waterproof, but the housing, everything is waterproof. So if it got left out in the rain, like during spring showers or something happened and it was just soaked, don't worry. Don't worry. And like I said, stay tuned to the end of the video because I did a awesome, I did an awesome test to show you how waterproof it is. Now, the, the solar and the power, you know, they're not waterproof. So if they get left in, you know, just be careful that, you know, you don't get any moisture in and ruin your panels or ruin the unit inside and all that stuff. Now, here's a cool thing, too. We know that this is all waterproof. I mean, like, literally, when you guys watch the test, I mean, I just... You know, water comes from everywhere. And you want to clean it all up when you're all done. If if somebody drop, drops you know, some water on it, don't worry about it. Now, one thing I want to tell you, too, is the test that I did uh, at the end of this video, I don't recommend you guys doing it. Blue Eddie sent me this. I didn't pay for it. They sent it to me. So I wanted to put it to the test. Um, and I did put it to the test. So, but I recommend that, you know, you, when these come out that you just don't go buy it and try to do all the same crazy tests that I did. Uh, just leave it up to us because, you know, uh, it's better that way <laughs> because we don't have nothing to lose. But like I said, here we go. We've got two expandable batteries. <laughs> that's that just, that's awesome right there. It's waterproof. It's dustproof. Um, the, the cool thing is it's IP65 NEMA 3X. So you could have this also in a shop where you are just got sawdust going, blah, 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 and it's not going to hurt the function. The fan, it, it, it's protected. So that's another cool thing. Now, if you were worried about, uh, you know, if you had your uh, cables all hooked up for your expandable batteries and say your solar. Now, there's a lot of people out there in Facebook world 
that can do this. But could you imagine 3D printing just some kind of like a sleeve that kind of comes over, you know, so that if you did have your solar connected, it comes over the wires and it protects the the in and the out uh, on your power and also on your ports on the side. That's that's a thought, you know, it just kind of slides over. So if it does rain, it protects it or you can put it on the side. I mean, 3D printing is the way to go. I mean, but if you don't have anything hooked up and it gets water dumped on it, don't freak out. Now, when I say that the, the housing is waterproof, it is not submergible. It's not. So don't take it and go throw it in the lake or, you know, whatever. It's not submergible. So don't do that. Now, the test that I did, you'll see, I mean, I, I hit it from every angle. And, you know, even the fans, all that stuff, the in and the out. Um, so I really put it to the test. All right. So with that being said, I want to kind of go over some other little details. Charging. If you're going to charge this, the minimum is 32 degrees. And you don't want to charge it over 104 degrees. I suggest don't even having it, you know, uh, in 104 degree weather. Now discharge, you can discharge uh, at negative four and up to 104 and storage, the same thing. Don't go below negative four and don't go over 104 degrees. The turbo mode, the turbo mode, when you have it hooked up to the grid, will charge at a whopping 500 and 75 watts you heard me correctly 575 watts i did a test uh from zero to 80 percent to see about charging it up and it took uh about 39 and a half minutes to go from zero to 80 and then from zero to 100 percent it was under an hour at 56 minutes now remember how i was telling you you can hook up your pv you can't and I'll show you. So here's some of the cool things that that comes with. Okay. You've got your power cord. And like I said, it's on the side, which is, is so cool. You just plug it in and you're good to go. You've got your cigarette. Plug it in. It's It's got that same connection as, as your EB3A and also um, uh, uh, for your other chargers. So... Plug it in on the side, hook up your solar, you're good to go. Last but not least, you can charge from your cigarette lighter. So if you're driving down, you know, you got like a few hours, why not? If you can throw it, plug it in, why not? Charge it up. Now, also a cool little feature is too, is I can take this, I can plug this in. Say if I had my batteries, you know, the two batteries, and I had to top off my EB3A, or my uh, EB70S, boom, I can just plug it right in. Good to go, start charging. Now, I'm only gonna be you know, charging out probably about 100 watts, but at least it's something. So you got that, that, that comes with, comes with instructions and all that good jazz. Um, so there's that. Uh, I went over the, t you know, the, the height, the width, all that good jazz. Now standard mode where you just have it, it plugged in, it's in standard mode. I believe that it's defaulted to that. Um, it charges at uh, 257 watts. Um, zero to 80 percent is just over an hour. Of uh, zero to 100 is just under two hours. Uh, the power lifting mode is just like the same power lifting mode on the EB3A. What it's going to do is it's going to lower the voltage. You're going to max out at 600 watts. But it's going to trick your device. So if you have a device uh, is that's like, you know, 2,000 watts, or not 2,000 watts, 1,200 watts, I highly recommend not running it. But if you had to, you could for a few, you know, moments. You know, if you had the, the two batteries, you know, you could probably get a couple hours. I don't know why you'd want to drain it out that quick, but it's still there. You, you can do it. Um, so that's the cool thing the expandable batteries 
the different ways you can charge. You can charge by your phone. You can charge by your, you know, your uh, grid. Um, the power lifting mode is amazing. And I show you in my video that's going to come after uh, exactly uh, what the power lifting mode will do. Uh, this is going to be a great unit for all you campers, you know, especially with the two uh, batteries. Uh, that's 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 amazing because each one of those batteries you can take off and run DC all you want. If you have a, a refrigerator, you know, you're camping and it runs off of 50 watts. Boom. Plug that in there. You've got 806 watts. How long is that going to keep your refrigerator cool a long time it's even going to keep it longer if you have 200 watts hooked into the into the battery because each battery will take up to 200 watts so it's like a win-win when you're camping if you want to be able to have cold foods you know I, i'm almost 50 years old and the one thing i hate about camping was always bringing the ice making sure everything stayed cold moving around the ice chests so that when the sun came that it wasn't you know heating everything up you know now i'm chasing the sun because i'm grabbing that free energy all right so i'm gonna pan this back over right here give you another little look on it's amazing sorry about the the light it kind of it kind of puts a glare on it sorry maybe if I turn it off let's see what happens if I turn off the light no well, let it kind of kick in but you can see it's gonna be a great unit waterproof expandable batteries up to two kilowatts you know this unit right now is four hundred and three point two watt hours amazing you can do a lot with this and i can't wait to show you the video so stay tuned everybody i hope you like this like and subscribe tell your friends um and uh support blue eddie like i'm supporting it because i am pretty impressed on what they've been doing with their technology and i i hope to uh, uh see everybody's uh comments when they come out uh, and when they start uh, doing their own tests, uh, because I'll tell you what, that waterproof test, you're going to like it. So, all right, we'll talk to you soon uh, on the next report. I hope you enjoyed. And like I said, a disclaimer, don't do the water test that I did. Okay, protect your unit. But just keep in mind, it can handle it. All right, God bless, and we'll see you on the next report. Okay, I've got another test for you, and I hope you enjoy this, because once I found out, after testing the new AC60, some of the new features they have, I was pretty stoked, and I couldn't wait to do some kind of a test uh, that I could show all of you uh, what we've all been wanting, and I, I'm really stoked, and I can't wait to show you, um, so let's just get to it. All right, so some of the things that, you know, everybody's worried about is the protection, keeping your unit completely protected. And one of the things that Blue, Head, Blue Eddie has done, they've listened to us because one of the major things that everybody wants is going on right now. Now I'm going to stop and I'm going to pan it around and I'm going to show you the test that I've been doing. So just bear with me. Hold on cuz it's coming. I can't wait to I can't wait to show you because you guys are going to be all excited. So hold on. Okay. So the test has been going on for 7 minutes 48 seconds. All right. So here's the EB3A. Here's the EB70S. I mean, it's great. You can have this in your bathroom, you know, you can do all kinds of stuff. One of the things that everybody's worried about is these two units and all that stuff is, you know, I wish we could hook it up to more power. Well, you guys know that the AC60 now can accept two expansion batteries. 
And I explained that earlier. But is that the exciting news that I'm supposed to be telling you? No, it's not. Because even though these two units right now are amazing, I'm going to show you how amazing the AC60 is with this test that's been going on for, you know, almost nine minutes. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Hold on. What is behind this curtain? Well, let's find out. It is the AC60 that I've had in here with my shower going, just dumping it. Completely waterproof housing. Now I'll go over some things that you need to know about it, but look at that, you guys and gals. It's waterproof. Waterproof. IP65 Nemo 3X. But there you go. Blue Eddy has done it. They've made their unit waterproof. So one second, and I'll show you what's next. Now that I got the shower off, I can grab it. So imagine if you left it outside, you're like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Okay, just shake it off, come over, put it on a towel, give it a good wipe down. Now, you're not panicking, you're not freaking out. You're not like going, oh my God, I got a brick now. It's waterproof, you guys and gals. It's waterproof, you know, take it on its side. You know, you're thinking, okay, I've got, you know, the in vent, I got the out vent, or it could be vice versa. You can fling it around, get all of that, get it all off, dry it off. Now, if it does get stuck out in the rain, what I want you to do, sorry, I'm all excited. Take your time to dry off all of your ports. Wherever you think water could be, just make sure you get it all. You know? Tell me what. They have taken all of this, slammed it into this, given it expansion batteries. <laughs> you guys, we already did it another win so I hope you like this test I hope it you know gives you that hey this is the unit I'm gonna get because I'm telling you what there are so many cool features um, it's amazing I, so I hope you guys enjoyed this test let me know what you think down in the comments uh, I hope you enjoyed it um, so hold on Okay, now that I have completely dried it off, I opened up all of the ports, cleaned up all of the water. You know, this is what you're going to want to do. You just don't want to just start plugging stuff in. You know, you want to make sure that you get rid of all of the moisture, just like you would if you were doing any kind of other uh, messing around with any kind of power. You know, you clean the water off, especially me, you know, I, as a journeyman plumber, being out on the field, you know, it's raining and all stuff. The one thing we always do, oh, dry off the electrical cord, you know, before we plugged it in. It's the same thing here. Make sure all your ports are clean, uh, free of water and all that stuff. And let me show you. So I dried it all off and then I plug stuff in. So let me show you. Okay. So I have got the light on, just a regular light. Got it on. That's plugged in right there. I've got my phone that's plugged into my uh, USB-C. It's plugged into my phone that I'm using right now. I have also got my um, heating blanket turned on. I just wanted to start plugging stuff in after it was all dried. And look, it's working, everybody. I'm pulling out 90 watts. So, pretty impressive. But what I did is, you know, I just opened up all of the little ports. You know, I cleaned up all the water, even... You know underneath and all that stuff made sure I got all the water you know you want to protect your unit even though it got stuck out in the rain or something happened 
you know, clean it all up. Make sure you get all your ports all nice and dry and ready. So not too shabby. You know, I pulled these down. You know, this is like I was telling you, you've got two expansion ports. Each port's going to have another 806 watt hours. I mean, that is impressive. Don't you think? Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that water test. Uh, Cause I know I, I have, I was really stoked when I found out. So, so I'm glad you enjoyed uh, my video. Um, like I said, leave a comment down below. Uh, tell me what you think. Um, tell your friends about my channel, my Patriot. Uh, report, uh, Patriot, my Patriot report. <laughs> I got something else on my brain. <laughs> Patriot plumber report. <laughs> I'm thinking of my Patriot supply. I'm thinking about blue Eddie. <laughs> so bear with me. Hey, I'm 50. <laughs> so <laughs> you gotta give me some credit. <laughs> if my memory is shot, Patriot Plumber Report. Check it out. Tell your friends. Like and subscribe. I'm leaving this all in there because I'm all natural. I make mistakes. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed. All right. We'll talk to you soon. God bless and have a wonderful day. One thing I also want to clarify that uh, the plug-in for the AC60, the grid plug-in that it comes with, that is not waterproof. So if you had that plugged in and you were in a downpour, yes, you're going to want to worry because that's the same thing if you have a plug-in left out in a rainstorm. <laughs> so I just want to clarify, if it's plugged into power, you got it outside, I, I don't know why you would have it plugged into power outside, but if for some reason you did, um, you would want to you know, make sure that you get that unplugged quickly and dried off and all that stuff. This is, uh, that test was to show you that if the unit itself was outside and it got wet, would it still work? Yes, it would. You know, if you had your, um, your, uh, solar hooked up to it, could it possibly get water in there to transfer in there? It possibly could. Um, that's why I was also thinking that you could come up with some kind of like a, a little cover that could just cover the outlet where it comes in so it kind of just rolls off so that it protects the power coming in from your solar um, that i think uh, anybody that has a 3d printer they could come up with their own little device and you know and that gives you more extra protection uh you know if you're gonna invest in something protect it you know do your history read up on it learn about it um, because this is going to save your life in an emergency situation or it's going to keep your life going if you're using these for uh your campers or you know your small uh day trip uh weekend uh camping stuff like that protect your unit um but i hope you guys enjoyed this new <laughs> ac60 waterproof test because i'm telling you everybody's been wanting to have some kind of a unit that's waterproof you know accidents happen water gets you know dumped on it are you going to be freaked out don't be freaked out you got all your ports covered up and everything you're okay now it's not submergible you can't just dunk it underneath the water it's not that waterproof no 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 so don't do that don't do that you know, but if it's left out in the rain, you know, and it's elevated and it's not going to get a puddle of water underneath it, you know, you're okay still. You know, that test that I showed you, that's like if the rain's coming down and you've got it set up to where it's not going to pool underneath it, you're okay. So that's about learning your product. You know, if you're going to put it outside, put it up on something. You know, you saw in my... Uh, uh, in my bathtub, I have that, that little stool. I just set that on there. And it was also has little ridges so the water could go underneath it. So it's not really going to ever pool underneath there. So uh, find things that you can add to it to protect it even more. Remember, don't cover up your vents. You know, it's going to overheat it. Uh, so remember, remember, 
remember, learn your product, learn your product, learn your product. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video because I am enjoying making this. So I hope you have a wonderful day or evening or morning whenever you're watching this. God bless. And we'll see you on the next report. All right. Check this out. My AC60. I've got all of the plugins just ready to rock and roll. All right. So right here, I've got my little lamp. Right here, I've got plugged in so I can charge my K2 power bank. That's 187 watts when it's completely charged up. I've got my earbuds on the top. That's the wireless 15 watt that I was telling you guys and gals from earlier. All right, I've also got my tablet charging. It's probably around 60, 50%, I believe. So that's charging. I also have my uh, Samsung charging up on the 100 watt supercharge uh, USB-C uh, adapter. Um, like I was telling you uh, earlier, it has the one uh, 100 watt and then the two uh, regular dinosaur. All right, so check this out. So you got the DC going. Now, you're probably wondering, you're like, you know, how is that 87 watts? Well, I've got my Igloo uh, refrigerator going again, you guys. And uh, I've got it loaded up with some food and all that stuff, and I'll show you that earlier. But, you know, it pulls probably a good 50 watts. Now, this sucker is so ancient that when they were selling it, they were giving away a free pager. But this thing still stays at 32 degrees. Amazing. You've seen it in my other videos. And uh, it's, it's rocking and rolling. So I've got that going into my DC. You can see I've got that all. So now let's throw over on the AC. Boom. AC is on. Okay. The light turns on. That guy right there only produces two watts two watts that's it all right so now you can see that i've got 164 watts going out now you're thinking hey man uh, th this only has 403.2 watt hours you know that's gonna go quick what what can we do now you remember what i was telling you solar so now if you're camping you're gonna have a solar panel just like this. Now this one is the AC, or excuse me, the PV120. So I highly recommend getting the PV200, all right? So now, if you had the PV200, I'm gonna simulate what it would be like. And the cool thing, you remember I was telling you that we can use this charger on other units. And it also works on this unit as, as well. So let me show you what it looks like when we're simulating solar and what you're going to be doing from there on. All right, so what we're doing was we're simulating that we're bringing in solar. Now, on a good day, you would probably get, you know, 198, 190 watts, but at least you're going to be bringing it in and still charging the battery if the battery is lower. It's not going to be a lot, but hey, you know, what can you do to eliminate all of that? Well, for examples, I can just unplug that. That's just two watts. That's no big deal. I don't need to, I don't need to plug that in right now. So we'll just hang that right there. Oh, okay. Now we've got this other light right here. Well, let's turn that off. Just like that. Okay. So we're now down to 154 watts going out. <clears throat> Not too shabby. So now you're remembering, I'm also charging my tablet. So you know your kids are going to be watching this when you're camping or driving or wherever. You can be charging as you go. So this is amazing. Now, so say you're all set up in your tent and everything. And you want to kind of cool off a little bit. Well, the cool thing is you can plug in your fan. If I could do it. <laughs> oh, that's why. Pause. I'm back. Okay, now. 
Now, so you're camping. You've got a fan going. Okay? you got that fan going on you in your tent or wherever you're at. So now let's take a look. It's pulling 178 watts. Okay, now you also remember you're keeping your food cold. Just like I was telling you, a whopping 32 degrees. You got your water, you got your drinks, you got your cheese, your meats. You can add some other stuff in there. Or if you had a better, bigger unit, I've seen huge ones that are... Their refrigerator and freezer, and they only run off about 60 watts, so you can get better ones. So, other than that, I mean, you know, with my fan, there's multiple adjustments if I remember correctly. Hold on, all right, I found it, it's right there. Now that's on low, so that brings it back down to 170 watts. But you got to remember, I'm bringing in 198 from the sun. So you're on your camping trip. You're down by the lake or the river or whatever. Guess what? You can have all of this stuff going to keep you going. I mean, it's, it's amazing. And this right there, I'm telling you guys, that is a must. Get it, get it, get it. All right. I hope you enjoyed. But, you know, a must. Get your solar panel. You know, get your lights, get your things that you're going to need. I mean, wireless, you can't beat that. I mean, I'm, I'm jacking up this. This is, you know, <laughs> imagine I can run my lights off of this. I can charge my phones off of this. You know, the kids' tablets. I mean, it even has a 12-volt and a 20-volt, you know. So if you needed to run something, bam. So this unit, it's new. It's the new uh, Blue Eddy uh, out on the market. So I'm putting it to the test. I'm sure I could, you know, I could put a bigger load on this. Um, I actually probably could put my uh, space heater on there and put it on low. Let's give that a try. All right. So I just hooked up my, my space heater. You can see that I'm pulling 730. 35 watts. I'm bringing in 199 watts. I've got my space heater on low, all the way low, and that should work out great. Now, I can also, you can see what it happened. Overload, overload, perfect. That's what it's designed to do, you guys. See, I went over the max, but now you see what it's doing? All right, I'll show you what you have to do. You just got to long press it stops the overload now if you needed to run this remember there's that secret it's called the power lifting mode so let me switch that on and I'll show you what that's gonna do okay dokie let's try this again AC on power lifting mode is on and the way you can tell, there's a little strong guy right down there at the bottom. But you can see that it's allowing me to do it. Now, my heater, it's on, but it's, it's working. It's barely heating up, but look, you guys. It's allowing me to do it. And there it is. Good to go. Not too bad, you guys. More to come. More to come. Yes, there's more to come. There's more to come. I didn't have it plugged in. <laughs> Silly goose. So oh, now you can see that it brought it up to 500 and or 660 watts. Well, I've got the power lifting mode on. Now I can come over here. I can feel it starting to heat up. Now it is on low, but if you did need to, you could. Now I don't recommend using it all the time, so I'm going to turn it off, but I just wanted to show you it can take it. That power lifting mode does work. 
All right. There you go. All right. Here we go. Another real world test. Now, I am a journeyman plumber, so I use a lot of cordless batteries from drilling holes to screws to sawzaws to skill saws, you name it. So I've got two Milwaukee um, batteries right here that are completely dead. I also have one of my service flashlights. These are great for going underneath kitchen sinks, bathroom sinks, and stuff like that. This is uh, around, I believe... 800 900 looms that's completely dead so what i've got it plugged into is the new ac60 600 watt solar generator now let's throw on some ac and see what it's going to be pulling now the cool thing too is what i want to show you and it's it's one of the awesome features is you kick on your ac oops let's kick it on boom it's automatically going to kick on both of the batteries so that one's going and that one's going and we are pulling let's see whoa it's going up 100 200 we're gonna hit 200 no 191 watts that's pretty amazing bam now this, like I've told you guys in my other uh, part of the video, this has a total of 403.2 watt hours. So if you do the math, it's not going to last that long. But what can we do to charge these and not have to pay for it? Well, you remember when I was telling you solar. The cool thing about it is right on the side, we have our little solar intake right here. Now... If you have the PV200 to go along with this, all you're gonna do is you're gonna hook it up. Now, what I have is I just have the, the brake hooked up to it. So it's simulating that it's getting the, uh, the solar from outside, and I just have that plugged right over here into my AC200 Max. So now, if we go back, look at that. It's pulling in 199 watts. Now, if that was solar on a great day, you can average between, you know, I would say 190 to maybe uh, 203, depending on the conditions, how warm, how cold, all that stuff. But it's free energy. So even if I was just charging my batteries, I could just keep this going until the sun is gone. So now if I'm working, I'm out in the sun, I can be getting that free energy. Now, let's throw on the DC and let's charge this guy right there. And we're also charging my cell phone that I'm holding in my hand right now. So look, brings it up to 220 watts. All right, so we're bringing in 199. That's gonna fluctuate and all that stuff. So now let's see how long this is going to last. Now. This test is just simulating if it's sunny out, there's no clouds. Um, how long is it going to take to run to charge these two batteries when I'm using that much wattage? So let's check back in, say, a couple hours. Okay, so I have completed this test for my batteries and my flashlight. Now... It took one hour and 40 minutes. The last thing to charge was this flashlight. The first battery, it stopped at one hour and 20 minutes, and then that was charged. This one went to an hour and 26 minutes, and that was charged, and then one hour and 40 minutes, and then this was completely charged. So, this, is a perfect example of what this new AC60 600 watt uh, Blue Eddy generator will do. There is so much more, and I'm sure you guys are excited uh, to learn about all the cool features. Um, but yeah, once again, did a great job. And remember, I was acting like I was pulling in solar. You can see how it, it, you can see the solar, but I'm just running. 
and off of power. So great um, little trick that you can do if you wanted to get double the power. Now, if you plugged in the landline and this, you would. It's the same as just a regular charge. You're going to get 250, 270 watts. Uh, I wouldn't do it like that. I would just plug it in and do a fast charge. Uh, but that's just me. Um, so there you guys and gals go. This is uh, one of the tests that I'm doing for the AC60. Uh, I hope you enjoy and uh, just wait for the next one. Another real world test. I've got 118 watts coming in from my PV120 and I have 140 watts going out and it's running my TV, my sound bar, my subwoofer, my internet and I just threw my panel out. See, anytime that there's sun, I'm getting free energy and I don't have to pay for it. It's a win-win. So, the AC60 is a powerhouse. Now, if I had the PV200, I wouldn't have to worry. But it's telling me right now that even with me getting the 118 watts in and 140 watts out, I can still watch my entertainment center, my internet, keep up on the news if there's an emergency for 10 hours. And it shows it right there at the bottom. All right, another win.